This is Richard Ross from AccessLearningZone.com. I get asked this question all the time. How can I put my Access database online so other people can use it? There are several things you can do to put your database online, depending on who your users are, what kind of security you need, how much work you want to put into development, and what you want the end result to look like. First of all, a lot of people tell me they're trying to share their Access database using Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, or one of those types of file sharing services. Do not do this. This is a big no-no. Access databases will not work reliably over these types of file sharing services. You will corrupt your database. Very, very bad. I love Google Drive. I use it all the time myself, but don't use it for an access database. If you are the only user working on the database and it's a relatively small database and you have good internet and you want to be able to copy the database back and forth between your home and office, for example, that's okay, but don't run the database out of your shared folder. Copy it to a local drive, use it, then copy it back up. Do not try to share an access database using one of these services. Now, if you have a small team of trusted users and you're already online using SharePoint, then this might be a good solution for you. You'll split your database, migrate your tables over to SharePoint lists, and you can continue to use your access front end locally. This method does involve a moderate amount of setup work to get your tables transferred over, and you may have to make modifications to your front end to get it to work right. I've got an hour long SharePoint seminar that covers how to do this. But again, I only recommend this for organizations who are already set up using SharePoint. Plus, if you're planning on taking your data public at any point, such as feeding a website, then this solution isn't the best one for you. Another option is to migrate your database to SQL Server online. You'll split the database, upload your tables to the server, and continue to work with your access front-end file. You can have a very large number of people connected to your database at the same time, so this is a good solution for even the largest organizations. This is also a great solution for anyone who wants to have a public-facing database. You can distribute a secured front-end to your suppliers or your customers, or even use your database to power a website and build a browser-based interface in a web language like ASP. This solution does require a significant amount of time to set up your database, and it has a steep learning curve. I've got a four-hour seminar to teach you everything you need to know called the Access SQL Online Seminar. Now, if you want to be able to use your Access database without making any changes to it, and you don't mind leaving your office computer running 24-7, then you can use a remote desktop solution to log into your computer remotely. I personally prefer Google's Chrome Remote Desktop. I use this myself when I'm traveling. I've got a free lesson that explains how to set it up. However, this is really only good for one user at a time. You can't share the database unless it's already shared in your office network. And even in that case, all of those users would also need to leave their computers running so they can log in. This is best for a single user remote solution. If you want to have your entire team be able to access your database simultaneously from remote locations with little to no setup on your part, I recommend Access Database Cloud. This is an online service specifically tailored to Microsoft Access users who want to set up a shared solution so that your entire team can work with your database remotely 24 seven from anywhere in the world. As long as you've got an internet connection, you can share your Access Database. Once your account is set up, there is almost zero setup time for you to get up and running. You just copy your existing Access Database file up to a shared folder and begin working. This is a fully managed solution and it's great for sharing your database amongst your employees. The only downside is that there is a per user fee. However, it's still a very affordable solution for a business that wants a fully managed server that's easy to operate with little to no setup time or learning curve. Some additional notes, if you require additional copies of Microsoft Access for your users to work with your database, you don't need to pay for full versions of Office. You can just get the free Access Runtime Edition. If you're planning on using one of the remote desktop options and you want to learn how to design Access forms so they appear the right size for your tablet or cell phone, check out my Access on a Phone video. 
If you are planning to use SQL Server to host your data, in addition to connecting your Access front-end database to it, you can also connect your website as well. I have a full series of classes that teach web programming using Active Server Pages, ASP. That's what my website uses, and my site is very heavily database-driven. Now, anytime people ask about using Access Online, this topic always comes up, Access Web Apps. As of 2019, Microsoft removed web apps from Access. If you see any websites talking about them, they're dead. They were never very good to begin with. And be careful what you read because there are some misleading websites claiming that Microsoft has discontinued Access altogether and will no longer be supporting it. That's not true. They discontinued Access web apps, which was only one feature of Access. Access is not going anywhere. If you're curious, I got a whole video on the subject. Okay, so what are my recommendations? First, I only recommend SharePoint if you're already set up with it and using it. If you're not already using SharePoint, don't even consider it. If you want to use Access as a desktop database like you've always been doing and also share your data on your website, use SQL Server. If you and you alone want to use your database while you're traveling and you don't mind leaving your home office computer on while you're away, use Chrome Remote Desktop. If you want to share your database with your employees but don't want to have to migrate your data or learn how to work with SharePoint or SQL Server, then I recommend the fully managed Access Database Cloud service. Very easy to use. If you want your users to have remote connectivity via a web browser, tablet, or phone, use Chrome Remote Desktop if they can connect into their home or office PCs where the Access Database is already running, or use Access Database Cloud if you want to have your database online. If your database needs full-scale public access with user account creation, logons, a shopping cart, and the works, then I recommend an ASP website with SQL Server. That's exactly what I use on my website. What do I use personally when I'm on the road and I want to get into my database, my access database in the office? I use Chrome Remote Desktop. I can use my laptop, my Android phone, or my tablet. For my website, I use an ASP website connected to SQL Server. I love the program in ASP. It's just like Visual Basic. For me, it's fast, it's easy, and it's secure. However, I'm just a lone gunman. I don't have any employees and I don't work in the team. So it's easy for me to just leave my home PC running when I'm traveling so I can connect into it. However, if I wasn't a database guru, I'm a nerd, and if I had employees and needed to share my database with a team, I'd use Access Database Cloud. As a business owner, if I didn't want to get involved with setting up SQL Server and all that crazy tech stuff, Access Database Cloud is the easiest solution by far. But that's just my opinion, and I've only been doing this stuff for about 30 years now. So take it or leave it. So that's it. There you go. That's how you can use your Microsoft Access Database online. I hope this video was helpful to you. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.